There is no such thing as too much active wear. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Ariella. I make videos about medical school and also my lifestyle. And one of the big parts of my lifestyle is working out. So when I get the opportunity, of course, I like to expand my active wardrobe. If you guys saw already last week, I posted a Lululemon sale haul from their massive warehouse sale that they had a couple weeks ago. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. But I also grabbed some things from Athleta because a lot of people on the Lululemon subreddit were mentioning how Athleta was also doing like a semi-annual sale kind of thing. And so they were talking about the pieces they got from the Athleta Athleta sale and I figured why not give another activewear brand a try. Athleta is priced similarly to Lululemon, it's more of a luxury activewear brand, but their sale was a lot better. I think they had like up to 60% off on some styles, which was significantly more than what Lululemon's sale mostly consisted of. So let's just jump into the things that I got and see if Athleta is also worth the big price tag. Alright, so the first thing that I got was this Essence Twist tank and I actually got this shirt in a couple different colors. I thought that it looked really nice on the model. I'm not exactly sure what this color is called so I'll have it on the screen but this shirt I got in a size small which is what they recommended to me based on their size chart and this shirt is originally $49 but obviously I got this on sale. So I liked it so much on the model that I actually bought it in two other colors. So I got it in this really pretty heathered baby pink color. And I also got it in this really beautiful blue color. This is a heathered blue, but I ended up falling in love with this color. I'll put the name on the screen and you'll see I got a couple other things in this exact color. I think it's called Victorian blue or something like that. I ended up searching the entire website for this color to see if there were other items because I thought it would flatter my skin tone really well. And I was definitely correct. This looks really nice if you have like a little bit of of a darker olive tone skin. So in terms of the overall fit, I wasn't super excited about this shirt. I don't know if sizing up maybe would have helped me out, but I got a size small, which is what was recommended to me by the sizing chart. And I just find that up near the collar area is a little bit loose and it cuts in a little close. I'm definitely gonna try wearing it with my energy high neck bra because I feel like that kind of has a similar shape and I didn't do it in the try on. I think that the tie in the front is really cute and very flattering because it hits right at my natural waist. So it gives me a very nice hourglass shape. I think in general my shoulders are probably just a little bit too big for this top, but it's not so bad that I can't make it work. I also wanted to note that the first time I tried on the green top, I tried it on with a normal bra and then I switched to a sports bra and it definitely looks a lot better with a sports bra, which was kind of disappointing for me because I was looking to wear these both in the gym and also as like daily wear pieces, but I don't know how much daily wear I'm going to get out of them just based on the fact that they look kind of weird with a normal bra, so that's one thing. And then the other Another thing that I thought would be really cute is I tried it on the other side so I flipped it around because I really thought that it could look good either way with the tie in the front or in the back. I will say if you flip it around the scoop is just a bit lower than I am comfortable with. I might still try it but it does scoop pretty low. And then something else that's kind of annoying that I maybe would have like forgiven it scooping low if this hadn't been a problem, but you can see the Athleta logo right through the shirt. So it isn't as bad when I'm wearing the item, but you can still see the little printed Athleta logo on there. So once that wears away, I might be more comfortable wearing this as its own shirt. I just wish they did the thing where you could remove the tag on the back so that way there's no print on the inside anywhere and you can make this item reversible. All in all, for these shirts, I definitely would not pay full price. I don't think these are $49 quality shirts. 
They are fair trade certified and the fabric is supposed to be sweat wicking and odor controlling, so we'll have to see if these hold up. For now, I'm gonna stick to the fact that I probably would never pay full price for this shirt, but I got these for around like $15 each and I think that's definitely a reasonable price for them. So we're gonna move on to actually what was my favorite item from the Athleta haul. This is called the Flurry Peak Turtleneck. It's supposed to fit close to the skin and lie on a hip length it's a chafe-free, seamless fabric that stretches with every move, and it has thumb holes to keep the sleeves in place, which was very nice. It's supposed to be unstinkable, breathable, and have UV protection. And the nice thing about their unstinkable fabric is they do a similar thing where they have silver salts in the garment that stop the bacteria from growing, so you can wear it multiple times without necessarily needing to do a wash in between each one. But obviously, if you're doing a very heavy, sweaty workout, that little bit of silver is probably not going to protect you that much but because I was going to wear this for skiing I don't tend to sweat a ton while skiing because obviously I'm cold even though I'm exerting myself and so having something like this to wear multiple days in a row and then throw in the wash when I get home I thought would be super useful so this is what it looks like it's got a pretty hefty turtleneck here which I tend to fold down and it's this really stretchy ribbed fabric with blue and black print on it it's funny I think I actually have a pair of blue lemon leggings that matches this like very closely so I thought the fit of this was really nice I got this in a size medium maybe I'm more of a true size medium on Athleta and the small tanks aren't actually my true fit this shirt is $89 and I got it for $19.97 so an amazing deal and I just think this fit is super flattering. It's tight, but it's not too tight on areas like my stomach where it might be a little bit uncomfortable. This is super cozy and super warm. Unfortunately, it is summer right now, so I'm probably not going to be getting a ton of use out of this, but I did think that this was a very well-constructed garment. And to be honest, I probably would pay full price for one of these if I wanted another one. Obviously on sale is preferable, but I think the quality is really there with this item. I also just love a good pair of thumb holes. These are amazing. Yeah, so really happy with that item. So next up, we have the Mindset sweatshirt in a size large in, again, the Victorian Periwinkle, I think is what it's called. And the fabric is called Serenely Soft Nirvana, and it's a 97% tensile modal fabric and 3% spandex. So I'm pretty sure that the tensile fabric is made out of reused fiber material. And so uh, that is obviously fantastic. We uh, love a sustainable option. It's supposed to have a form flattering design, and it's supposed to be breathable and easy care. I got this in a size large and this is originally $69 and I got it for $50. So as you can see, since I got this in a size large, it's a little bit of a looser, more oversized fit. To be honest, it's not even as loose or oversized as I personally would have liked, but that's definitely up to personal preference. I'm a big fan of like the cross detail on the side. I think that's quite flattering and it's a little bit longer on the back, which I also like and find very flattering. However, I will say say that this fabric is just kind of one of those classic like softy stretchy pullover fabric materials which I don't actually think is that good quality at all and I think the thing that makes this item so expensive is the sustainable material but I just don't think this item is worth $70 or even the $50 that I paid for it on sale. I think that it just feels a little bit cheaper than that. And I don't know if that's, again, because the fabric isn't actually that nice, but because it's recycled, it's more expensive. I'm still going to keep it. It is pretty comfortable, but I have a feeling that this fabric probably is not gonna hold up. And in general, it's just a little bit like floppy and flimsy, which if that's what you're looking for, that's fair. But I tend to steer away from those kinds of things just because in my experience they don't last as long all right so the last thing that I got from Athleta which I will not be doing a try on for is a swimsuit so because I've taken the tags off I don't have the names but I will definitely put them on screen I got them in the Victorian periwinkle color as you can see I really just went ham on the Victorian periwinkle so uh, we can start with the bottoms so the bottoms are a ribbed bottom they've got seams all along the waistband and around the legs and it's a double lined fit and i got these in a size large because that's all they had left i think i 
probably would have preferred a medium. The larges fit just fine, and I mostly wanted this for the color. I will say that something that I noticed is the seam is covered on the front by the ribbed material, but that has a tendency to flip over when you're swimming, and so it just doesn't like to stay in place, which is kind of annoying. Something that probably could have been solved by getting a medium instead of a large, but again, I don't really mind. These held up really well. I was doing a lot of swimming, and like we went to a place called Jackson Falls in North Conway, where there's not like a, a, a large amount of rushing water, but it is definitely moving, and these held up just fine. The only thing that I did notice is because it's such a light color I did get some stains from where I was sitting on the rocks on them and like especially on the thread of the bathing suit bottoms the thread definitely stained and that did not come out in the wash which is kind of annoying. I'm a big fan of the ribbed material I think that is a very flattering fit and it does have a non ribbed panel on the sides. I think that just allows for a little bit of extra stretch so that the sides large can fit a wide variety of different people. And then here's the top so I didn't think the top was going to be wired, but there is a like hard wire in there and I wasn't really ready for that. I actually kind of liked it. So I thought that this was a really nice top. It does have these interesting little seams here, which I don't really know the purpose of, but I thought they looked nice. This did originally come with padding, but I decided to take the padding off just because I am not a big fan of padding in bathing suits. They tend to get all crumpled up into a ball and I would just rather not deal with it. And it was totally fine. Again, Again, this swimsuit is double lined, so that wasn't something that I really needed to worry about. So in terms of construction, this swimsuit is like si very similar to an actual bra. It has the normal like bra hook clasp and then the adjustable bra straps in the back. Big fan of the adjustability so that you can fit multiple people. This is a size 36 B to C and I'm usually a 34C cup. If you guys didn't know, in terms of things that are sized like a bra, if you add one to your band size and you decrease one from your cup size, I'm sitting here. You can usually pretty reliably interchange those sizes. So for me, a 34C and a 36B fit the same way, and obviously that works in the opposite direction as well. I just say that because the 34 band wasn't available, so I got the 36 and it worked out totally fine. And yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this swimsuit as a whole. Like I said, I really like this color, and so it really works well as a swimsuit. And I found that the fit was definitely pretty good, and this is one of those things that, again, I probably wouldn't pay full price for, but I was totally happy paying the sale price. Because I took the tag off, I don't have those sale prices, so I will definitely share those with you on the screen here. And like I said, size large in the bottoms, size 36 B to C on the tops. All right, so that was my whole Athleta haul. I'm sure you guys can probably tell by a little bit of my commentary, but I wasn't super pleased with the things that I got. I definitely don't feel like the items are as good quality as Lululemon. However, I did get them for significantly cheaper, so maybe that's something to keep in mind. And in addition, some of the products did use a sustainable recycled fabric, which is really nice. And that warm turtleneck that I'm gonna wear for skiing, I was definitely very pleased with. So overall, I'd probably give them like a six or seven out of 10. I definitely think there are things that they could improve upon in terms of the fits and the designs and like the fabrics, but but I did think that they held up pretty well, especially the swimsuit that I've already worn. I was really happy with how that performed in the water. It wasn't see-through at all. I didn't have like any cold problems, if you know what I mean. That's all I have to say about Athleta. If you guys have other brands that you think I should try down below, definitely let me know. I've gotten a request for Gymshark already and I can do a Gymshark haul, but I think I've kind of talked about it before. Gymshark stuff just never really fits me right. They're made for girls with really long legs and really short torsos, and I am so the opposite. I have very short legs and a really long torso. So whenever I get items from Gymshark, I usually end up donating them or giving them to my sister, but it's definitely something that I could do in the future if you guys are interested, and I haven't tried them in a long time, so maybe their fits are different. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe down below if you want to see more active wear reviews and active wear hauls, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.